what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel i'm mike that's legend and this is living with 3m today we are mounting or i've already mounted a mod that everyone should have in their vehicle for personal protection i'm talking about the holster all right guys i've already mounted man got all kind of crap filling the floor in. you guys know how ocd i am about all my stuff all right let's get in here let's look right here y'all see my trailer brake right there but you also see something right here and i'm gonna tell you what this thing is awesome i love it um, you also see the base knob for the stereo everything is got a purpose where i've put it and right here i've got a little ruger 380 and i keep a little sleeve on it with the sleeve on it still and it's awesome i absolutely love it so you don't even have to take the sleeve off and it does have where you can you can push down i'm not gonna push it all the way down and load the bullet into the chamber without even just one motion just just push down you know so it's a part of my road rage prevention program i guess we could say so you know also let's see remove the uh it works either way with or without the little case and uh i think that's uh that's a really good mod to have in your vehicle uh, if you are like me and you like personal protection. Some of you guys may not. You may not uh, believe in guns, and that's cool with me, man. It's whatever floats your boat and whatever, you know, I believe in freedom, and it's your right to choose uh, what you like. If, if you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it, great, man. So I ordered this thing. I don't even remember the company um, that you can see the stops right here that when it, it goes in, it, 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 it's like magnetic, but then it will only go so far down. And people ask me, I've had a few people ask me, does it hit your knee? I'm six foot, almost six foot one. And I don't have any issues with that clearing. Um, you may, if you're a shorter driver and you have to have the seat pushed all the way up, your knees may come in contact. I'm not really sure, but I'm just saying six foot on average driver has no issue with that being right there. Also, it can be mounted over here. You just have to reach further over and, uh, that's kind of a stretch for me. Um, possibly you know there, there's different areas you can mount things i've seen people mount them on the doors down there the only thing i worry about with that you open the door really hard and the gun may fall out uh, just try to always think of something and um i'm just going to put that right there but this is not a permanent holster. I do not ever recommend leaving your weapon in your car. Ask me how I know that. I've had a pistol stolen before and uh, I learned from my lessons. So it's a good thing to have, carry around. Uh, that way you don't have to cost, you know, uh, store your weapon in here. And then, it, God forbid, something would happen, you, you would struggle getting to it. This way, it's right here. You, you're, you know, hands on your knees, boom. It's just right there. So, with that, that's our mod for the day. Also to mention, guys, that this uh, mount is a universal. It will actually hold a 45, 38, probably a 22. I, I'm not really sure what it'll hold as far as the sizes. 
I, I do know it'll hold a 45. I've put that in there before, Glock 19, and the Glock 21. Anything with a flat on top that's got the flat surface on top with the slide that pulls back, obviously it won't hold a revolver or nothing like that. Um, but just to let you know, if you got questions like, will it fit this gun or that gun? Uh, it's just a, uh, I think mine's a, a ghost recon or a ghost mount. I think I got it uh, off eBay. So check them out. Uh, use your own judgment on which ones to buy. I don't recommend any particular brand, um, just as long as they're reputable. All right, guys, that covers the mod, but I do want to kind of mention really quick that the other day I had a gentleman tell me, he said, well, I, where that's mounted, you may shoot your toes off if you get in a hurry. And I'm like, well, first off, you need proper firearm training. You know not to put your finger on the trigger. Uh, so if, if you are worried about shooting your toes off, then you probably don't need uh, that mount, that pistol. Uh, you know, you need more training. So that is just a holster. I don't ever foresee using it, God forbid. Uh, to actually cock and because once I load the bullet into the chamber There's a good chance it'll be used. I'm not uh, You never pull your weapon unless you plan to use it. So that uh, You know the comment he made was just you can see my foot underneath there and it's like, uh, you know I'm not Barney Fife. I'm not gonna shoot my weapon uh, inadvertently so uh, just if any of you see that and you've got a question about it. So uh, if it doesn't, if you're worried about it, then you need more training or you need to mount it elsewhere. So, all right guys, that's gonna conclude the video today. Um, you can drop me a comment, let me know what you think, pros and cons and uh, Man, that's, that's all I got for today in this video. Hit me up, man. Be sure to subscribe, like. It means everything to you, boy. I'll catch you in the next video. Later. Later.